ever use something and thought, how does that work? Where does it go after it has been finished with? I could design that better. Once upon a time, the Industrial Revolution happened. Things were not produced by machines in big amounts. The Industrial Revolution changed the nature of life, not just in Britain, but all across the world. Products were produced in large amounts. Products became affordable and accessible. Plastics were developed in the 50s, and people loved buying products made of this material. Cheap, quickly made, mass-produced products. Styles and fashions changed. Products were changed to meet the needs of the fashion. When tastes changed, products got thrown away and new ones bought. Technology developed, the big world changed. The internet was created and the world went mental in the noughties with the, all the new products being thought up. Man's new best friend was a dog no longer. Instead, it was a shiny new iPad. No longer did you speak to your friends, you tweeted and tagged them. The designer was king. However, the landfill filled, fossil fuel depleted and wastes were high. The designer needs to change their role and become the superhero. Being a designer now is considering what the world needs as well as the user. Considering how something works as well as how it looks. Being an artist as well as an engineer. Using math skills as well as scientific knowledge. In the words of the amazing Steve Jobs, design is not just what it lo looks like and feels like. Design is how it works. Boom and there it is. Product design. A gateway to art, design and engineering. Design is where science and art break even. You get to be creative, problem solve, consider the world and how we change it for the better. Be creative in a practical, useful way. Just remember, design is intelligence made visible. Thank you.